Hi and welcome to another SEO Tuesday tutorial. While you're in your Google My Business profile, you may notice a new feature called Preview Call History. And what this does is allow customers to contact your business through your Google My Business account simply by clicking on a call button. And if you want to give it a try and you just click on try it out, uh, another screen will pop up that looks similar to this. And to turn this on, you just click on turn on call history and the feature will be activated. Now let's go over to the Google My Business help page and see what it says about this. Okay, on the Google My Business help page for call history, and we'll put a link to this in the description below, you can read through this and you'll see that it is experimental and that it is only available to certain businesses and is only available in the United States. And briefly how it works, uh, when a customer uses the call button on your business profile, they connect to your business through a forwarding number instead of through your business number listed on your profile. And at the start of the call, whomever answers the phone at your business will get an automated message that says there is a call from Google. And then the customer is put through. So again, this is a new feature from Google, Google that is being beta tested and some quick analysis about this. The calls are being tracked and they are only being tracked through your Google My Business profile. Those are the only calls. No other calls to your business would be included. Um, your employees that answer the phone would have to be trained to listen for that automated call from Google and know how to respond. You don't want them hanging up on customers because they think it's a robo call. And then the feature uses a forwarding telephone number, not your actual business number. So there may be some issues with that when the customer tries to recontact you. But if you do miss some calls, call history does keep a detailed log listing the time, date, and phone numbers of those who called for 45 days. So you'll be able to go back and see all the calls you missed and recontact your customers and connect with the clients whose calls were missed. A downside, if you already use a caller ID type of system, Google call history might complicate things. Another possible positive is testing a new feature may open you up for other new Google options in the future. So we are not sure the benefits of using the Google call history feature. And if you do decide to use the feature and you don't care for it, it does appear easy enough to toggle on and off. And on the help page, you can see here, it tells you how to turn it on and turn it off. You just go to your phone number and in your business profile and click on the edit button and then you can uncheck the box next to to see recent calls. So at this time, it's not clear if there's any SEO advantage. More testing has to be completed. Subscribe to the BT Foom YouTube channel and watch for updates on this topic. Thanks, and I hope this helps.